It's the NRT Insider on NRTV, where we talk directly to the artists about their latest projects, passions, and what's currently driving them in their ministry. Let's go inside on the NRT Insider, exclusively from NewReleaseTuesday.com. My name is Sean. I play in a band called Bella Reeve. We have a new album coming out on July 22nd called Before There Was. Most of the inspiration for the record comes from the book of Ephesians. And you know, the, the teachings in that book are so expansive. Sometimes it, it feels like it's hard to wrap your head around, but um, so powerful. This idea that even before the foundations of the earth, it says that God had his heart for us and that he set out to make a way for us through Christ. And even before he laid the foundations of the earth, it's such a powerful, almost paralyzing thought. And so most, most of the songs are a response to that idea of covenant. And for us, I think it's just about faith, you know, trusting in that promise. The process on this record isn't drastically different than our previous record. Um, I think that we are, we're a lot closer as a family. And most of that's because we've just spent so much time together. You know, we, we, <laughs> we spend 10 hours a day in a van. You know, we, we know each other's deepest, darkest secrets. You know, we, we also know each other's greatest giftings and triumphs. And that just leaves us very exposed. It, it makes everything we're doing very intimate and personal. And I think that that has been uh, something that has been notably different, I guess. Uh, just how uh, we're kind of peeling back the layers a little bit more. So you'll feel that in the songs, I think. We're trying to cover, I guess, a fairly large spectrum sonically. And there's this particular song called Lazarus that is a little bit moody and kind of heavy hitting. And then on the other side of the spectrum, we have more of a, a proper corporate worship song called Calling on Fire. And the same thing, it, it, seems, it seems to be resonating with people. And that our hope is that people receive us as a worship band, as a band that is figuring out life and how God's moving in it and writing songs in response to that to God, which is what worship music is. And we hope that it translates for them in their personal life too. And it, it, it feels like that's happening. It's been really encouraging. The biggest thing that we have coming up um, in August as we're going to the UK and parts of Europe and it'll be the first time that we've done any sort of real touring there so we're we're so excited um, I mean <laughs> it's just to visit a place like that is inspiring for us and we we hope that like, it'll be the first time that we get to go over there and kind of share our music with a lot of those people how can people be praying for us in our ministry we're going through a lot of changes right now. We've invested so much into recording this, this new music and it, it's just an outpouring of our hearts. But at the same time, so many new opportunities and also new challenges have been presented to us just in our, our day-to-day -day lives uh, as a family. And it's requiring an immense amount of trust. It's really hard to see more than two or three feet in front of us and so I guess maybe just praying f for peace and praying for stability and and that we would have faith to just keep holding on to God and letting him nudge us along and, and light up our path we maybe to have peace that we don't need to see more than three feet in front of us know that just that God is leading us would be really, really huge.